Now to a story that we've been following right here on Outnumbered. Actress Sofia Vergara is breaking her silence on a frozen embryo lawsuit filed by her ex-fiancé, Nick Loeb. He wrote an op-ed in the New York Times last week accusing the modern family star of refusing to allow him full custody rights for two of their frozen embryos created before they broke up last May. Now, Loeb wants to bring them to full term. But Sofia Vergara does not. She says in an interview, a kid needs parents. I wouldn't want to bring kids into the world where it's already set against them. It would just be so selfish. I'm doing the right thing. I didn't do anything wrong. But Loeb wrote in his op-ed, these are issues that, unlike abortion, have nothing to do with the rights of one's own body and everything to do with a parent's right to protect the life of his unborn or her unborn child. You're nodding, Dr. Ablo. Good so who him. wins this argument, Good Vergara for him. or Loeb? I don't think she has 2% uh, uh, credibility in this matter. The bottom line is why would a woman's right to decide what to do with a frozen embryo trump a man's right every time? If he wants to bring these embryos to term, good for him. He wants to parent. If he wants to have them adopted, good for him. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's not a coin toss. It's whoever wants that potential being to survive. That's who wins. But I'll give you the other and side of that. she's so liberal. Modern family. Anything goes. Interesting that when it comes to her choices in life, she wants all the control. Not very the modern, other side of the Sophia. argument is, Andrea, and this isn't my other side of the argument, this is what you know, he will say, or she will say, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, is that they agreed to bring these embryos to term as a couple, as a married couple, as a family, as parents. And you're now talking about a completely different situation. Yeah. Well, you know, what their agreement is on paper should not determine the fate uh, of a child in the world, right? We don't decide a priori that two parents can decide to do anything with potential life. His, and you know, I've been outspoken on this. I think men should be able to veto women's abortions if they're willing to care for the child after it's born. But what born. about the flip side of that? What if Sophia Vergara, they were still together and she yeah. woke up one morning and he said to her, destroy those embryos? I mean, this is, as, mu as much as we're talking about morality, Sandra brings up a really good point. There is the legal aspect of this, and Sophia makes a really good point to Howard Stern yesterday. She said, look, he had the chance to speak up when we signed the legal paperwork. He didn't. And so this is why, and per this is my personal opinion, I think that he's a fame whore, and he's scorned by her, <laughs> and he's jealous of her, and he's trying to get media attention. I don't believe for one second that he's about seizing the moral high ground. No, I mean, he's, he's a tall, good-looking guy. He would have no problem finding a potential mate uh, with whom to have have children, you know, he's he's 40 years old. It's it's not like everything's dying. But you know, in, in a completely different sphere, I have to say, yes, he's a fame whore. But also, they agreed to bring life into the world. And if they had a one-month-old baby who was born to a surrogate, and she decided she wanted to break up, she couldn't go in the bedroom and smother the baby. Right. And, and that may sound harsh, but I think in that sense, they they entered into you know a pretty sacred contract to bring kids into the world. And for that, I think he's a jerk. He's got problems. He's trying to get back at her, but he also has a claim. Well, Here's and, real well, quickly, she, I want to get Heather in here. She argues that you know this was done while they were married, while they were a couple, and then that same argument can be used on the other side, uh, where he says that you know this uh, agreement that he signed is now null and void because they are no longer a couple. Right. So which is it? Also, the egg is not in her body anymore. So that's another legal issue. Once it leaves a woman's body, I mean, this is all new territory. We're going to stay on this story though because we like. Get here on Outnumbered.